All right, so some of you may have seen my tutorial for opening the sixth and seventh generation classics. I've got some feedback that I picked an easy one. So I've got a couple here and I've got another stack back there and then I'm just gonna go at it. Let's see this one. Uh, I mean, it's not that tight. I got a fresh Sesmo, so let's try it. Uh, the camera might wiggle a little bit, but get it in like that. Push it down all the way inside the iPod and pull up. Get it in a little bit. Push it down all the way inside the iPod. Pull up. Wow. Actually, isn't too bad. Ah, yes. This one had been opened before. Okay. Scratch that. Here's another one. All right, so we've got this one. I think in good condition. Uh, it's pretty sealed. You've got a little something there. A couple right there. It might have been opened before, um, but I'm not too sure. Let's find out here. It does take quite a bit of force. Okay, actually, that looks pretty stock. It does not look like anyone has been in here. Yeah, it's pretty easy, actually. All right, next one. Uh, so this one, also in pretty good condition. Don't really see. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, someone's been in here. You got a black headphone jack flex and it's uh, supposed to be a silver one. Okay, I'll try this one then. And then hopefully this last one is not, no. Yeah, that was a piece of cake. Someone's been in here. All uh, right, what's the problem with this one then? Um, seems all right. I don't see any physical damage. I wonder if the power's on. Oh, this is the backlight one, wasn't it? I think this was the backlight one. Nope, and it's just a white screen. Makes sense. Okay, fair enough. So someone's been in that one. Um, it's very possible. Bad battery. Let's see. All right, yeah, this one's a bit tougher, but I think I can get it pretty easily. Doing this through the uh, viewfinder too, to be fair. I know that uh, some people uh, have claimed it's a pro tip to start down here. I've never seen it to be necessary because all you do when you start right here is you open it like this and all it does is it makes it tighter on this side. You really wanna get this open. That's gonna help you the absolute most uh, when actually opening the thing having uh, trouble getting all the way to the bottom here. See, yeah, this one is a bit tougher, but it's been cracked. Um, That also looks pretty stock. Um, this one might be the backlight one, hold on. Yeah, it's the bad backlight one. There were too many of those in that stack uh, that had not been opened before. I've got another stack here. Um, this one has definitely been opened before, if you can see that gap, it's a pretty massive gap. Uh, this one, actually looks pretty stock. Uh, you don't really see any markings, I don't know. The gap is kind of big, but uh, we'll give it a shot. And you can see just how much this is bent, uh, that says well, that was brand new, right at the beginning of this episode. but it still works, even bent. Oh, it's turning on, that's great, huh? All right, there we go. Let's see if it's been open before. It's stuck on something at the top. All right, um, I don't know. This one's been open before. It doesn't really look like it. It just looks like it's kind of dirty, kind of liquid damage there. Uh, I have to take a closer look at that. Let's see, mm, that's quite a big gap. So this is pretty much a sampler of the uh, iPods that I get in. Um, sometimes I'll get ones like an entire batch, you know, a good uh, three or four dozen per batch. Um, and basically all of them have never been opened before and it's uh, not too bad. And other times I'll get a 
banchen um, that people have just assembled out of junk, which is unfortunate. I've gotten actually quite a few this batch. This one looks pretty stock. Let's see. There's nothing on the back of it. The Sesmo is pretty much totally ruined. Grab a new one, or not a new one, but another. All right. <clears throat> yeah, it really is pretty tough. <sighs> I'm also not that. Not that strong. Uh, this one is giving me a little bit of an issue. I think it's because this Sesmo is going to screw it up. I mean, you you always will damage it a little bit when opening. Um, that's a pretty nasty scratch right there. I think I actually, is that even a scratch? Will always damage it. Um, the only way you're gonna get this open is by using metal on metal. And you know, metal on metal, it's gonna scratch. Yeah, I screwed up the clip right there. That really sucks. But thankfully, I believe this one has never been opened before. Well, this Sesmo is about to break. Hot too. It's a clip at the top there that's giving me the most problems. Oh, it's that clip right there. And you can eat the hard drive is bad. Yeah, it's that clip right there that I screwed up. Let's see if I screwed up any of the clips. It really is just that one. Top one looks fine. Yeah, that looks okay. Looks pretty stock. Awesome. All right. Final one, what's it say? No, what does that say? Really, what does that say? I have no idea. Okay, so this Sesmo is pretty screwed. Um, I'm surprised it uh, is still working. I go through a couple of them a day. Let's get this one open. Uh, sometimes you will crack the display if you are doing it right here. If you were to like put it in a little bit and then push up, you really run a risk of cracking that display. Uh, when you're opening it but there really is only one clip at the top so it doesn't need that much attention the attention really needs to be focused on the sides here dang look at that thing i i don't know if this is uh it's gonna last for all these but yeah, there's a lot of damage i've got a couple dozen of these fresh ones just laying around because you can see how long they last even the expensive ones only last for a little while yeah i screwed up that clip right there Let's see if I screwed up any other clips. Oh, I broke that. Yeah, that clip is pretty bad. The one at the top is okay. The sides are okay. Okay. All things pretty stock in here. Notice this thing. It's off a headphone jack. And all right, to finish out this video, I've got this one here, um, which is pretty fucking disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. It's got a nice layer of packing tape and an you sticker on it. I agree. Gosh, let's see what's inside here. All right, so I actually just took the uh, thumbnail photo. We're gonna open this. Ugh. Oh, I can only imagine what's in here. I wonder what this thing has been through. I think that's dirt or mud. I'm not sure what that is. Got a stamp right there, a purple heart. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh my God. All right, let's get in there. You know what? I've seen much worse. Jesus. Yeah, I've actually seen much, much worse. That really wasn't too bad, actually. I mean, there's some stuff on the inside, but really, I have seen much, much, much worse. The outside is pretty bad. Let's see if this thing powers on at all. I'm not sure we're going to be able to see it. Hard drive is not spinning. Firewire, and it will power on uh, when plugged into Firewire. Uh, even if there's no battery installed. I really don't think this one's gonna power on. I did not feel that hard drive moving. You can see my hands are pretty dirty. There's a bunch of stuff, pretty nasty. We're gonna need a Lysol wipe. That's just kind of what happens when you uh, deal with these things. Again, that last one really was not that dirty, but uh, I'll probably end it there. Oh yeah, check out my store.